hello guys in this video we will learn how we can add foreign key using entity framework core and this is this chapter 5 video series of create api using asp.net core version 3.0 3.1 or 2.2 .2. so this technique can be applied in all the three framework versions so let's have a look how we can create the foreign key as well as the primary key uh, and also create the table simultaneously with entity framework core okay so let's uh, in the last video we had done like creating the profile so now we need to basically now i have deleted that table profile table from here and now we will again create this table by adding the foreign key so to add the foreign key first let me add one uh, database model so i'm going to create one class and i will name it as address i have written the code already so that we can make the process quick okay so let's i have created the table and now i need to replace let me replace the code okay so now and one more thing here i want to have this table to have a relationship with profile table therefore this is one to many relationship that means one profile can have multiple address okay so what we are doing now we also need to do changes in the profile table as well and for, for the profile table change we need to do this here let me add this line in the end okay now i have defined that the in the profile table address can have like sorry in the address table profile can have multiple times okay so so what it will do it will automatically generate a, an address id here in the profile table and it will automatically consider this id as a foreign key with the relationship in the profile table with that new it will create basically automatically it will create a new address id and that will be connected well, let, let's have a look first let me run the code in the package package manager console and one more thing i need to do i need to modify our db context here also so let me also apply the changes here so here i have supplied two data set here and uh, which will be created or considered as a table and all its property will be considered as a column and here so just now let me open the package manager console okay so here we are and let me give it a name as add my need to add migration first and i'm going to name it as foreign key migration and it is now building our project now build is succeeded okay now it will generate the migration here the migration class is generated and here it has already taken the value of all those two tables as well it has also considered created a constraint of foreign key profile and it will automatically name it as this and it will automatically create a column with index and it will be related with the profile table in like inside the profile table this name this column will be created okay and so have a look let's see let me 
go to package manager console and now let me update database update database okay so now it's again building our project and build is succeeded and now it's done now it's all it has also updated our database so let's have a look and let me refresh the tables so now as you can see here we got more two more tables one is the addresses and second is profiles so in the profile table if i will let me open its design here so that we can understand properly what the entity framework has done okay so here you can see it has added an address id here and down below okay and here in the column list you can see address id is a foreign key a type of int and it is nullable okay so when i will go to this table in the addresses table here the column id is automatically considered as a primary key and this primary key is, is taken here as address id as a foreign key so when i will go to addresses sorry let me let me open the design of address table okay so now here when i will go to okay just minute, go to profile and when i will click on address and i will click on relationships so here you can see it is or it has already created a relationship here and also assigned the tables here you can see this is the table and column specification in the front key base table is the profile table and the column name is address id in the in the same way the primary key table is the addresses and where the primary key id is id so it has already named it by the entity framework so like this you can create the foreign key as well as the primary key so let me again show you the code so that we can understand we can understand properly what we have done here so here to apply the front key we must need to add a key here right and to create a relationship on would another table in the address table so here i have not supplied the key property so what it has done it is automatically taken this id int as a primary key and here we have specified it here that it will have a one to many relationship with the profiles table means there could be multiple prof uh, like uh, one profile could have multiple addresses okay no okay okay so here the relationship is like opposite uh, not not as i had said the relationship is basically here one mul like multiple profile can have same address so from here you can see in the code it is like multiple profile can have one address id okay so this is one to many relationship and like this you can create and in the same way if you want to like create multiple address for single profile then you need to add here this like this collection need to be added here in the profiles profile table and this at the place of this address like and at the place of this address we need to supply here without a collection of this profile so like this you can create the foreign key okay that's all guys in this video thank you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any queries or suggestions please write down in the comment below thank you